Hello, this is the second part of investigating the state of this uh, FlexVolt DeVault battery. In the first part I uh, disassembled the battery and investigating the status and also cracked it open and removed all the cells for individual testing. Three days later, you know, day and night, letting the batteries in the capacity meter, I was able to establish that the nine cells I took out were all good. And the six, obviously, that I threw away were bad. So this is the situation with the capacity. D1, 2,632 milliamps, obviously. D2, 2,566, D3, 2,776, 2,807, 2,434, 2,544, 2,764, 2,545, 2,664. That's out of 3,000, which would have been 3,000 milliamps or 3 amp hours, because this cell had three rows, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, when put in parallel, make 9,000 amp hours. Obviously, when it works in 60 volts, it puts all of them in series to make 60 volts. 15 batteries times four makes 60. But then it's 60 volts, three amps, which is the capacity of a single cell. I've done a calculation in a spreadsheet and I ranked them based on remaining capacity using the measurements I've made and compared to 3000 originally, 3000 milliamps or three amps. So this is sorted in order of highest to lowest. So D4 just decreased 6%, this one seven, this one 8%, this one 11, 12, 14, 15, 15. All of them are over 80%. A lithium battery, when it goes under 80%, it's kind of marginally still usable for uh, battery charging boxes, but no longer for power tools. But, uh, I mean, the first, uh, say, uh, five are great, almost 90% left after six years of using the battery. This is fantastic. These three are still good, you know, over 85, 86, very good. 81 is still over 80, it's still usable. Obviously, it will run out faster, but it stores capacity, it keeps capacity perfectly usable. <laughs> so, eight of them, absolutely reusable. The ninth one, yeah, I'll use it if I need to, but, you know, I'll rely the first eight. So, yeah. Success in, you know, recovering at least eight cells out of 15. I also reached out to the vault to see if I can procure six of these cells from them to be genuine parts and, you know, be able to rebuild this battery. Unfortunately, they declined any help and uh, they said they don't provide any parts. So I guess except for the warranty from the vault, which is very good, three-year warranty, they will replace your battery if you have uh, the top of the battery showing less than three years stamped on it. And if you have the receipt for your purchase from an authorized source, they will replace your battery, send you a new one. If not, well, you're on your own to repair your battery, even though you may have the skills and the parts are uh, peanuts for them. Unfortunately, they won't be able to help you. So, Right now, I'm on the lookout for at least six or maybe seven batteries of the same type. And it will take a while to get them, you know, reasonable price, confidence of their 
uh, genuineness, which is always a question when you buy items like that from China or other sources. And also, since I bought this one relatively cheap, you know, I don't want to spend a lot of money to try to restore this one. I would rather keep this eight and repair uh, 20 volts max batteries of the compact type, the, the wider type with these things. I already repaired two of them and I only had to use two batteries per, uh, per battery pack to repair them. So since I have eight excellent ones, I can repair at least four batteries, which, as you know, are quite expensive and, and it's worth, you know, repairing. So that's my, uh, that's my message for today. Thank you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. New videos will be posted every week. Choose to get notified, and I hope to see you soon.